Inesa. Inesa. Mm. Uh, mm. I'm all right, but Hasuki Sensei. Uh, My father. Son, focus on. of telling you.
Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swan. It can't be you! Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. Sensei.
Your son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand, but you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. I don't want the police involved. Appropriate response. To all the police at the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh, this is cool that they've added this to Steam now. To all the police at the beginning of the game. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I've already played Shenmue 2. Piece of First achievement for Shenmue 1. Okay. Let's try and find an Azomi. Like, of interest. 你。
Let's talk to Ryo-san. Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landi. What did he talk with my father about? Landi demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Family home. Hi, Megumi. What's Megumi uh, hiding? You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. When I first played this originally on the Dreamcast, I selected the fried tofu and the kitten didn't like that. So you gotta do the dried fish. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home Jesus all day. Man. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. 
Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye bye, dear. Bye bye. Mishima-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. That day of the incident, did you see some men dressed in black suits? Black suits? No, I didn't see them. Well, did you happen to notice anything unusual? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. I'm looking for anything at all. Is there anything you remember? I'm sorry, Ryo. The weather was awful. So I stayed inside all day. Did you ask Sumia-san? She knows about everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Is that so? Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. Sumia-san. Hi, Ryo. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamagishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Fashion Sage Collar. Excuse me. Yes. What's this name plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. I think that was about a sink. Okay, let's get ourselves some gadgets. 100 yen each. Wisely spent. Maybe just one. Hmm. 
Hmm, I know this. Oh. I should try again. Another achiever. Find your first collectible toy. Nice. Let's buy one more. We don't need to save our money yet. Oh, uh, save one. Hey, what's this? I should try again. So we have to get two hundred more. Hey, what's this? That's oh, Maybe I should get another. I'll pass. Alright, let's get some Sonic. Gotta go fast. Toy capsules. A hundred yen each, huh? I should buy one. I reckon we all like Street Fighter more than Sonic, but... Get some Sonic too. It's Tails. Hmm, I know this. I should try again. Put off the way there. Oh, it's the weird green, green duck. Hmm, I know this. What's his name? Bean. Alright. Save some. More. Maybe I should get another. Changed my mind. But I'm gonna get a coffee, I'm tired. Coffee. Oh, I've been made myself a coffee in real life. Gotta, gotta go drink that. Oh, after this playthrough, though. Well, I might pause it. And, uh. I'll pause it and add it out actually after this coffee. But let's just help this old woman. Ooh. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. She's been waiting about an ah, hour in good. the game time. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I do want to find the house though. That's not it. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Okay. She should be in here. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Another achievement! Woohoo! Okay. Okay, now it's, it's time to meet Amadichi san. Right house. That is Yamagishi's house. It's daughter. Yamagishi san. Oh, it's you now. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. 
so I never had the chance. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you're okay. Guess it's time to go to the Bueda. Which I believe we can go this way as well. Hi, what can I get you? It's about that day. Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? The day the snow turned to rain, right? That's right. It was really chilly, so I raised the temperature for preparing the dough a little bit higher than usual. But I guessed wrong, and the dough didn't rise properly. Well, see you. Else. Not this guy. Excuse me. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. Guy. This guy. Excuse me. Hey! That day it snowed. Did you see a black car? Yeah, I saw one. Really? But I only got a glimpse of it. I see. Sorry, I can't tell you more. That's okay. Itoi san. Yes! We have all kinds of patches and. Have you seen a black car pass through here? What? A black car? Yes, the day the snow turned to rain. Yes, I remember the snow and the rain, but I don't remember seeing a black car. I see. Awesome jacket, Sky. Kurita san. Yo, how are ya? The day it snowed, did you happen to see a black car? Huh? A black car? Apparently it drove through here at high speed. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. Oh. About the black car, did you remember? Yeah man, I heard about it a couple of days ago at the hamburger place. Something about some black car that was speeding. I wasn't paying much attention, so I don't really remember. I see. Ask the owner of the hamburger place. Thanks a lot. Good ask my man, Tom. Tom. Hi, Dio. I heard about your father. I'm sorry. Have one of my special dogs. It'll perk you up, I bet. Thanks. I'll have one next time. Anyway, on that day, did anything unusual happen? N no, nothing. I see. Well, if you remember anything, let me know. Sure thing, I will. Tom. Hey, yo, keep your chin up, okay? Try my homemade pickles? They're guaranteed to make you happy. Uh-huh, I'll drop by later. I know where the burger guy is. He's down. Um, hi, what can I get for you? I have a question for you. Do you remember the day when the snow changed to rain? Yeah, I remember. Did you happen to see a black car? A black car? Oh, hey, that reminds me. You know that girl over at Ida Florist, yeah? You mean Nozomi? Yup, she was spitting mad because some black car splashed mud on her. I don't know the details, though. I see.
Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you, Annie? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day, the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Go on. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Rio. Hmm. Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See Dad ya. was just murdered. So. All right. Let's talk to Tom again. He might be more forthcoming this time. Tom. Hey, Rio. Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Come on, Tom. Your father? Help me out here. Please try to think. All right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Let's find out about Chinese. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Bajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Yes? It's about people from China. Do you know anyone else besides the Ajiichi Chinese restaurant? One of our tour guides is Chinese, but he won't be back in Japan for quite a while. I see. Well, I'd better go. Son. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. 
I see. Why don't you tell him about the three blades? Oh, the three blades. Three blades? What are the three blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Let's go to Itoi-san first, because he's gonna close. Um, yes, Itoi-san. Do you know about the Three Blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the Barber's. I see, but Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. Excuse me. Help yourself to a glass of water. No. I have something to ask you. What is it? Where is the Liu Barber and Hair Salon? Liu? Let's see. Judging by the name, I'd assume the owner was a Chinese person. But since I don't know them, I really can't say. I see. Let's just go to the Liu Barber Salon.
you, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki son? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second-generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Um, are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah. You know of the three blades. I know it refers to the three professions: barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy. I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity; they're bound to know more. Sailors. I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. That's a good place to stop. Next time we'll be looking for sailors. <laughs>